morning. Anything wrong? You mean anything else? You're right. I suppose it couldn't get much worse, could it? You're dressed. I wake up early. Why didn't you wake me up? Well, you had a bad night. I figured you could do with all the sleep you could get. Did I keep you awake? Mm, not really. Well, I must have done if you heard me moving around. No, I wouldn't have slept anyway. This is awful. Look what I've done to us. There's only one thing I can do. What? I have to turn myself in. Listen to me. Not if you keep talking like that. It's the only way. No. Well, then you come up with a plan. I'm working on it. Robert, if I don't give myself up, it's only going to be that much harder for you. I'll manage. You shouldn't have to. It's a little late in the day to be thinking about that, isn't it? Hala, I've got to do something. We can't go on like this. You can't give yourself up. If I don't, it's going to look like you're covering for me. And if you do, it's only going to look worse. Why? Indiscreet photographs of the police commissioner's wife? How's that going to look for my career? Great. I can't turn myself in and I can't stay quiet. Damned if I do and damned if I don't. And damned if I can find a way out of this mess. I've ruined everything and you're probably going to lose your job, too. And there are other ways to make a living. Yes, but none that you enjoy half as much. What I've put you... I feel so ashamed. The fact that you knew that I gave Beatrice those pills, you just couldn't say anything. Well, that's the least of my worries right now. But you've never compromised your professional integrity before. I wish you didn't have to do it for me. If wishes were booze, we could party for a year. I can just imagine what this has done for your self-respect. Well, will you shut me? up? If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have any self to respect. I know what you're trying to do, Robert. But if you cover for me, it's going to ruin you. Look, I am not covering for you. Exactly. Well, not yet, anyway. What do you mean? All of the coroner's information isn't in. Now, I haven't arrested the Quartermains, even though it's obvious that they're just as... As guilty as I am? Involved as you are. Now, look, why don't you sit down, kick back, and uh, read a book and cool it with the Joan of Arc Act. I have got to go to work. I'll call you later. And try not to worry. We'll find a way out of this mess. You really believe that? Do you realize the position you're putting me in? It looks as if we're not doing our jobs. We're doing the best we can. It's not good enough. Now, what is holding up the Lassure report? Well, to, to tell you the truth, Robert, we're a little backed up. You know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. Now, you better get cracking on this. Otherwise, I'm going to find somebody who will. Come on. No, I don't think it'll come to that. It part. shouldn't have come to this. Now, I want to know what's going on, and I want to know now. I got you the initial results almost immediately. And then proceeded to keep me waiting an interminable amount of time for the final report, which I still haven't got. Now you want to tell me you don't know when you're going to have it. You have to realize we're involved in more complicated testing, which in turn requires more time. Which we don't have. Well, I can't help that. Well, isn't it possible to run more than one test simultaneously? No, not with the staff I've got. I'm sorry, Robert, but if I'm going to do the job right, I'm going to have to do it at my own pace. Well, what am I supposed to do? I mean, sit around here, pretend this woman wasn't killed? Look, it's not as if you're withholding test results. This information is crucial to the whole case. Hey, Robert, easy, easy. Remember, he's on our side. I am trying to mount a case of involuntary manslaughter against Lord knows how many people. Now, I'd better be sure that all of my suspects are guilty before I start issuing warrants to pick up half of poor Charles. And I can't do that without his final report. I don't see why not. What? The victim, Beatrice Lasseur, ingested drugs which apparently led to her death. I already know that. All right, my staff and I have isolated four of these drugs. Now, there may be more. But for now, it's evident that these drugs contributed to her death. What are you driving at? Well, simply this. If you can establish who administered each of these drugs, then these individuals contributed to her death. So why don't you bring up your suspects, Robert? Don't try to run my case for me. Just get that report and do it fast. Yes, sir. Is that all? Unless you have any further information. I hope to, soon. Well, you're not gonna find us standing about here, are you? No, Robert, he does have a point. 
Look, we can push on without any further report from him. All we have to do is prove who gave Beatrice those four drugs. That is not the way we do things here, Bert. You ought to know that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't follow you. Half doing the job. Shoddy police work has no part in this department. Not shoddy, just expedient. Damn it, you're supposed to be right, not expedient. Can I be both? At the moment, you're neither. Well, that's why I'm trying... We do not make a move against any of those suspects until I have that final report. Now, is that clear? Captain. Yes, Commissioner. Him in the garage. I said hello, he grunted and kept on moving. It's been that kind of a day. Yes, I, I figured as much. That's why I came over. I was about to ask. I uh, thought you were going to lay low today. I've had second thoughts. Uh, about keeping quiet, not saying anything. Forget it. Robert, I know how to do it. Not a chance. What if I were to make an individual statement? What does individual mean? Say, I did what I did, completely alone, that you had no knowledge whatsoever. I could go straight to the deal. No. Listen to me. If you disassociate yourself with me right now, you could escape probably most of the scandal. Say that you had no idea what I was up to, which is true. I wouldn't even blame you if you renounced me. You can play it that way. We can... Oh, no. No. no! That's not him. Then who the hell is behind the desk, huh? I'm sorry, Commissioner. I tried to keep him out, but he insisted on seeing you. Don't blame her. It's your fault. If you were doing your job, I wouldn't have to be here. You want me to call the police? We are the police. Shall I go for help? No, I will uh, see Mr. Holt. Oh, you'll see him. And you'll talk to him, too, and give him some answers. You can go. What seems to be your problem? I'm not surprised that you've forgotten, considering how long it's been. Why don't you remind me? My mother is dead. That's supposed to be news. Well, you must have forgotten, considering you haven't done anything about it. What would you suggest I do? Arrest the killers! You must know something I don't. I know who they are. Do you want me to guess? The quarter means. Oh, surprise, surprise. Come on! Everybody knows it but you. I didn't know there were so many detectives in Port Charles. This isn't funny, Robert. Am I laughing? Then why haven't you brought him in? Huh? A little proof would be nice. If there had been anybody else but the Quartermains, you would have arrested them on the spot. What makes you so sure they're the only suspects? What makes you so sure they're not guilty? Who said that I was? Then arrest them! Look, I'll start issuing warrants when I have enough proof to make it stick. Oh, and when is that gonna be, Robert? When the money runs out? What money? The big bucks the Quartermains are paying you to sit on this one. Simpering. Yeah, Robert. come on. I'd like nothing better. Robert. Don't push your luck, Sonny. Let me tell you something. That's the only thing I got to push. I don't have power, money, or influence like the mighty Quartermains. Now, why don't you shut up before you say something we'll both regret? The only thing I regret is that you are in charge of this case. You think you could do better? At least I wouldn't be bought off. Get out. What's the matter, Robert? The truth hurts? Right now. You say one more thing, Holt. And so help me, I'll have you arrested and stuck in the slammer in five minutes. Don't start anything, Robert, Jimmy. Under the circumstances, don't you think that it would be a good idea just to be a little more tolerant considering what he's been through? That eh? doesn't give him the right to walk in here and start shooting off his mouth like that. No, no, it doesn't give him the right, but it does make his behavior a little easier to understand. I don't need anybody to apologize for me. Well, I think you do. I know you've been through a lot lately, but that doesn't excuse your suggesting that Robert is being bought off by the Quartermains. You know as well as I do that Robert would never, ever take a bribe. Fine. But well, that's not the reason that what is. Wasting my time.